Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and today we are seeing how the DL1961 Avery Modern Straight Jean works with cowboy boots. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. You know, I want to talk about something serious before we get into this, though. I want to talk about coffee, <laughs> because that is very serious to me. In fact, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I've done over 500 coffee and music live streams for the past two years, if not more. So I love coffee, and I have found a new coffee company that I want to tell you about. They're called Bones Coffee. They got a whole bunch of different flavors, like this one right here, Maple Bacon. Check them out at jeremiahcraig.com slash bones. Now let's check out these jeans. Enough of this jibber jabber. Let's go. All right, so as many of you know, I like to try different toe styles on cowboy boots with jeans because I want to see how they work and also so it helps you decide whether or not this jean will go with your preferences. I'm going to start off with round toes and we're going to start off with this U-toe. This is a Hondo 2670 and all of the links to the cowboy boots that I cover in this video will be in the description. I like this jean. Now, DL 1961 is known for their sustainability. They basically own a vertical, I guess, and they keep track of environmental things all the way up from the cotton to the finished product. So, that's kind of cool, but it does make their jeans more expensive. I got these through Stitch Fix, and I got them for a little bit cheaper because I got it as like a whole box. And if you haven't seen any of those Stitch Fix videos yet, definitely check them out. But these are around $125. And I gotta say that I like the stack of them. I like how they feel. They're very light feeling. They are 98% cotton and 2% Lycra or something like that, which is a spandex, and they are a little bit stretchy. And they work well with these boots. I mean, this is a 14 inch tall boot, so it is kind of a taller boot, and it has a two inch heel on it. Um, I like this because it's not too wide up here. I mean, it might be a little bit baggy, but I need some baggier jeans for boots like this, which have a very prominent top and shaft here and you can see the scallop through the jeans so the jean just needs to be baggy to cover all of that down there and it does a good job with it on this pair of jeans so that's what it looks like with a u-toe let's move on over and try with the r-toe the medium round all right so here they are with the chisos number one we have a medium round toe on this and again here i like it you know, usually I am more of a boot cut kind of guy. I kind of stray away from the straight cuts just because they don't look as good, I feel like, for my body type and my style as the boot cut does, but this stack looks really good. The straight cut actually shows the boot. So you get the stack and you get to show off that boot. A boot cut oftentimes will come out like this and cover most of the boot. So you're not really getting any of the heel. You're not showing how good your boot looks, which is kind of important, especially when we're talking about exotics, and we will get into that shortly. But next up, let's check it out with a J-Toe. All right, so here we have the BNV Boots. This is the Jeremiah Craig Special. Water Buffalo Calf J-Toe. As you can see, it's a little bit more pointed than the other round toes that we've looked at so far. And I still feel like this goes very well. In fact, I kinda like the darker color with the cognac color of these boots. And again, here, it comes a little bit further down around the counter than it did on the Chisos, but you really get a sense of that heel. You can really, see it like it just the jeans just stop there and with a boot cut it would go over the counter go over that little spur shelf there and cover some of the heel so you're really not showing off as much of the boot as you could and i feel like this jean does a great job of stopping where it should so the boot gets the attention you know what i'm saying 
Let me know what you think. Now let's move on over and try it with a snip toe and we're gonna be looking at our first exotic of the day. All right, so here is the DL1961 Avery Modern Straight Jean with a snip toe and this is the Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail Snip Toe in Black Cherry. And I don't know how I'm feeling about this color combo here. It's kind of like a grayish blue. This, I don't know what you would call this. Maybe they call it fuel. It's kind of like a grayish blue color. And I kind of like it with the Black Cherry, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it's really working for me. I'm not sure. Like. <laughs> Does it go with black cherry? Let me know down in the comments. Usually black cherry goes with everything, but I don't know about this color. Let me know your opinion. Let's keep going with the exotics, but try these jeans with a French toe. All right, so here's the jeans with a Cayman belly from Boulet Boots. It's got the French toe on it, as you can see. And again here, it works very well. Looks good, I think. Maybe a little bit baggy. We'll have to see how these wear over time. But I feel nice in them. Like, I feel very comfortable. It's a very lightweight jean, a little bit stretchy with that spandex. Now, let's try it with a Dubai toe. All right, so here we have a Dubai toe or an L toe on this JW Boot Company brush popper boot. And this is an ostrich leg boot. Love the look of that, it's so prehistoric. Um, here, I'm kind of digging it. I'm not completely sold on the on the uh, pairing between this Dubai toe and this jean here. It's also got the shortest heel with the Stockman heel. Looks pretty good though. I'm just not digging it as much as with the underslung cowboy heels, especially those taller ones like that was on the BNV and the Hondo. I think that really shows off the heel of the boot. All right, that's enough of this brush popper with the Dubai toe. Let's try it out with a harness boot and a narrow square toe. All right, so harness boots are always tough for jeans, especially straight cut, because you got all of this extra material down here in leather to fit a pant over, but I feel like this does a great job at it. Uh, I love the color combo with this grayish blue and the tan on this harness boot from Rock and Leather. Um, I think this works really well. This is where some jeans have failed in the past, but this DL1961 is really doing great with it, I think. All right, now let's move on to the last boot, the double stitched welt wide square toe. Here is the wide square toe with a double stitched welt. This is the Ariat Circuit Patriot boot. Um, I think it pulls this off pretty well. I think it does. Um, usually I have a lot of trouble with wide square toes. The jeans have to be wide enough to make it look like the boot isn't wider than my leg, which this actually is. Like, it's really tough for skinny people to get away with wearing double stitched well wide squares because most often our legs are skinnier than the end of the boot and it looks absolutely ridiculous. But I feel like this jean does a good enough job at making my leg look a little bit wider than it is. Uh, like a lot of baggy boot cut jeans will do. I still like the baggy boot cut jean better with wide square toes for me than this jean. But what do you think of the DL1961 modern straight cut jean from, I guess that's DL1961. This is the Avery. Um, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Um, I think it's cool. I got a link to it down there. I am going to keep this jean just because I like how it goes with so many different kinds of boots. Um, and it's just light and it feels great. I think it's fun. So um, definitely not like a working jean or anything. I wouldn't want to use this jean for working. It's sort of a business casual, more formal jean if you feel like wearing jeans at formal occasions. This would be a good jean to get married in. If you guys were thinking about getting married in boots and jeans, 
this would definitely be on the top of my list if I were to do that. So, let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. And thank you for watching. Peace. Have a good one, everybody. Now these DL1961s, they know how to get that comfort done. Lightweight for casual fun. DL1961. Yeah. Thanks for watching today. Let me know what you think of the DL1961 Avery jeans down in the comments. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.